Hello everyone, I'm Paul and welcome to your Legion. So I'm sitting here, I'm scratching my head, and I'm wondering, am I the only person in this world that has memory compatibility issues with the new Z170 chipset and Skylake processor? I don't know what to tell everybody, because I would consider that most people would have had some issues, unless they got brand new memory from memory manufacturers for their specific motherboards that were solely compatible and of course you know what's going to happen when you the consumers start relaying that you're having memory issues they're going to turn around and they're going to claim oh well we got everything cherry picked so we didn't know i don't i don't know about that because shouldn't they be testing all different types of memories on on their systems just so they know what's going on so if that happens okay let them try to own it that maybe they made a mistake this time. But in any case, what I wanted to do is I wanted to update everybody on what I've found. As I said in the original, uh, in the original review, I was having memory compatibility issues. And yes, that was across the board with every board that I've tested. Now, I haven't tested a couple manufacturers' boards yet, which I hear might have better compatibilities than the boards that I had. But what I was going through was I was either having to set manual timings or I was having to basically just try different things to get memory to work. I would get it into Windows, it would crash on me. Now here's the situation. Now as I told everybody, Intel R&D team is going to be working on this, uh, motherboard manufacturers are going to be working on this, and I have spoken with memory manufacturers, Intel and motherboard manufacturers we're starting to see some resolution to the issue that I've been having and what many of you might see if you happen to have incompatibility issues. I'm not gonna give you a something long and drawn out here. Um, as you can see, I mean, I, I'm just basically doing this. I haven't set up the studio. This is impromptu. I wanted to give everyone an update so they knew because I knew, I know that some of you are already getting your, your platforms in and I don't want you to run through these problems. JDEC for DDR4 is 2133 megahertz. There are some memory modules out there that they're JDEC, they're pre-overclocked from the factory, so it's gonna JDEC at maybe 2667, it's gonna JDEC at something other than the 2133. You might run into issues with something like that, which I have. I do have HyperX Fury 2667, which are actually JDEC. 2667. There is no setting for 2133. So when I put it in my system, what happens is the memory fails to initialize or it even tells me that there's no memory installed. And the reason why is because the, the coding for the XMP settings for Z170 is a little bit different than the X99. I've also found that there are very few memory modules out there that say that they are compatible with the Z170 chipset. And even if they said that they are, they might not be totally compatible with XMP because of this issue. So what you're gonna need to do is, if you're purchasing something now and you find that you are having an issue with your memory, number one, try all four banks, meaning try one and three, two and four because I've had a problem where sometimes my memory would work in banks two and four and it were, wouldn't work in one and three or it would work in one and three and won't work in two and four and even though the, ma the manufacturer of the motherboard said use two and four for two sticks of RAM it didn't work so you're gonna have to play with that if you can get into the BIOS make sure that you have your XMP set you don't have XMP on Make sure that you originally boot it up with the 2133. Then go ahead and try the XMP. If that doesn't work, that means that the motherboard manufacturer probably has not gotten into their BIOS and changed their BIOS to use that coding for that specific set of memory yet. They are working on it. 
I just per I've I've tried four different modules and or f actually five now. Um, I I recently tried the G Skill Rip Jaws, which worked great at 2133, but I did have some issues when I turned on the XMP with that, and the XMP on those are 3,000. But remember, again, JDEC needs to be 2133 on most of these motherboards to work. So if you do have a set that is pre-overclocked. Hence my HyperX Furies from Kingston, which has a JDX of 2667, you might have compatibility issues. Now, in the beginning, there were compatibility issues even with the JDX of 2133. Evidently, as I said, there's different types of, there's a different micro, micro coding for these two different chipsets, and I was using quad channel memory. And most of the memory that you're gonna buy out there, even dual channel right now, is probably going to be a quad channel kit that they just split in half. So you need to watch out for that. G-Skill I know has been very proactive working on things. I know that uh, Kingston has been in even Corsair. So we're getting things resolved, but I just wanted everyone to know that if you have your system and you're having some compatibility problems, make sure that your memory modules do you have a JDEC of 2133? You could probably get into the BIOS. Now, the other thing is, is make sure when you get your motherboards, you flash your BIOS before you do anything. If you have a motherboard that has BIOS flashback, I would suggest not putting the memory in there, not putting the processor in there. Go ahead and, and hook up your 24 pin, 24 pin connector, use USB BIOS flashback and do it that way. Then put your processor and your memory into it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a picture of what I'm talking about with the Fury. And basically it's just gonna show you that at JDEX to 2667. So remember anyone, if you have any questions, if you need some answers, go ahead and make comments here. And I'm also asking everyone here, which I normally don't do, why don't you go ahead and share this video? It might help some people out there since no one else has reported this yet. Stay thirsty, my friends. I will see you the next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.